Square Enix is close to releasing its next big RPG, Kingdom Hearts 3 and there have been more small updates regarding Final Fantasy VII and Avengers 2. Square Enix News, Kingdom Hearts 3, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Avengers Game in 2019, Pick, Square Enix, We're finally here, the month that Kingdom Hearts 3 releases, it's been years in the making, but January 29, 2019 will finally see Kingdom Hearts 3 hit shelves. But news that came to light this week reveals that there were some very specific conditions that needed to be met before director Tetsuya Nomura agreed to make the game. In interview in the February 2019 issue of British Games Magazine Edge, issue 328, the outspoken director revealed that he told Disney that there were two properties he needed access to before he agreed to make the game. After we were done with Kingdom Hearts 2 and were starting to consider 3, we started talks with Disney. I remember saying, if we can't use Pixar, then we can't have a third game, reveals Nomura, it's that important to the game series. The whole world loves Toy Story, everybody feels the appeal of that story and those characters. So yeah, at the very beginning I directly said to them, if we can't get this, I don't want to do it. Trending Edge notes that the director went on to speak directly to Pixar about using the property, and that the collaboration with the studio continued from there in much the same way that the Square Enix, Disney collaboration did beforehand. I wrote a general outline of the story and I submitted it to Pixar. It took them several years to okay the story and the character designs, Nomura explains. Previous to Kingdom Hearts 3, I think these companies kind of saw it more as like, secondary rights permissions. They saw it more as a product like you would a branded toy or something, this time, it was creator to creator. It was somebody who had made this animation, and somebody who was making this game. We were communicating with each other, myself and these people, so that added an extra level of complexity because each creator has their own desires, ideas, and concepts. Hopefully, that comes off as a genuine, lovingly crafted experience in the game. We'll find out for sure when it releases on January 29th. Related articles next up in Square Enix News, we know that the Avengers game has had another little update. We haven't heard anything official about the game since we got a small teaser for the title back in 2017, but thanks to staffers working on the game, we know development is progressing smoothly. Thanks to a tweet from creative director Sean Askeig, at least we know the game is alive and well in 2019, he doesn't reveal any information about the title, but the statement below lets us know there's still something happening, thanks everyone for all of your interest in the Avengers project. We're hard at work on this very ambitious game, and are excited to share more when the time is right. We can't go two years without an update, can we? Lastly, there's a Final Fantasy VII Remake update to wrap your eyes around. Every week, Japanese magazine Famitsu compiles a list of games that readers are most keen on seeing in the upcoming year. The top three games in that list tend not to change too much, and it's a testament to the popularity of Square Enix's JRPG output that both Final Fantasy VII and Kingdom Hearts III remain at the top pretty much consistently. This week is no different, with Kindgom Hearts III and FFVII Remake taking the top spots. Here's the full list. All votes were made by Famitsu readers between December 13 and December 19.1. PS4, Kingdom Hearts 3 1004 votes 2, PS4, Final Fantasy 7 Remake 914 votes 3, PS4, Resident Evil 2 to 676 votes 4. PS4, Devil May Cry 5 to 488 votes 5. NSW, Animal Crossing 422 votes 6, NSW, Shin Megami Tensai V342 votes 7, PS4, Ace Combat 7 to 310 votes 8, PS4, Catherine, Full Body 292 votes 9. PS4, Super Robot Wars T286 votes 10. PS4, Dead or Alive 6 to 284 votes related articles.